basically there's a clicking in my shoulder right now. So when I raise, I'm feeling the pain. It, it like feels tight. And let's just get like, what's the update on that? Uh, there's no clicking. All right. Yeah, I mean, there's no pain. And what about left side? Yeah, it just, it feels like I'm more connected to it. Okay, like, uh, more control. All right. And awareness. Just run me through like what's going on with the shoulder and explain as briefly as you can like the situation. Yeah, so I'm having some shoulder pain and basically what's happening is it's kind of tight from, uh, you know, from my neck where it connects to the, like my skull uh, down. And then I have um, tenderness here and, and a lot of tenderness right here. I have a like a knot, a perpetual knot that's in my shoulder blade. And what's also happening are the, uh, my ring and middle finger are going numb. Mm -hmm. And if I keep my arm bent for too long, I'm having, uh, there's like a, there's like a pain that shows up here, like a radiating pain that shows up right here. Wow. So as long as I keep my arm straight, I'm pretty good. And then I'm just, I'm pumping my, I'm pumping my fist so that I keep blood flowing. Uh, and these two, do, these two fingers don't go numb, but that's, uh, that's what's happening right now. Okay, okay. Uh, quickly stand up and then um, just show them, like, uh, let's just do like this movement. And just kind of tell me about that. How's that feel? Okay, so um, basically there's a clicking in my shoulder right now. Okay, so you feel some sort of a clicking? Yeah. Okay. Any pain associated? Any numbness? Um, just, there's a, there's a section right here that feels really tight. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't call it. As you raise or at all times? So when I raise, I'm feeling the pain. It, it like feels tight. Okay. And it like a little bit of pain, a lot of bit of Just pain? a little bit. Yeah. Okay. And then do the other shoulder? Not like that on that side? No. Okay. One to 10, what would you say this is at pain wise when you're going up and down? So when I'm going up and down? Yep. Maybe a four. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So if we at least alleviate that, that would be like a first step. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Sweet. So the bulk of these like exercises I'm gonna give you, the, like the first level of them start lying down. So whether it's on a yoga mat, it's on a table, something like that, anywhere where you can have full control, calmness over your body. I've got some like audios that have started to come out. Um, I can send you one of them to work on like body, shoulder, back stuff that'll help with this. It's essentially a, a talk through where it'll talk you through exactly what to do. And it's like a meditation track almost. And you can do the exercises along with it. Aside from that, I'm gonna give you like just custom stuff today and teach you how to start doing all this so that you can, I mean, the goal is really like, I don't ever want you to be injured again. And I never want you to feel hopeless with something like this. So like, whenever you get this in the future, I want you to be like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll just do like a few things until I figure it out and it's taken care of. Okay. On your own, without me, ever. Sweet? Yeah. Cool. Bring this up. Does that hurt at all? No. Cool, bring this other hand up. And all I want you to do is make fists and then I want you to bend your elbows and kind of interlock your knuckles like that. Perfect. And all I want you to do is very gently push these together, very gentle. I want you to try to relax the fists, relax the elbows, and try to squeeze your chest muscles. Can you feel that? Yeah. Now what I want you to do is notice from your right to your left side, does that feel different? It does. Okay. Which one feels more sensitive? Uh, my right. Okay. What I want you to do is keep squeezing and feeling, but try to bring it to the lowest intensity you possibly can. What's the lightest amount you can push and squeeze, but still feel them working? And then bring your elbows down a little bit towards this. Perfect. Does that feel more calm? Yeah. Yeah. And just very gentle squeeze these muscles. And just breathe. How do they feel? Um, relax, I guess. Cool. And just keep squeezing nice and gentle. Now the goal here is to hold this contraction for really as long as you can at the lowest intensity possible. And the reason is so rarely do we ever work muscles at a low intensity, right? Even when we go to things like yoga, it can get really intense and you're sweating and you're stretching, right? And so what we're doing is we're just giving this tender love and care to your body 
tuning into these muscles that may not have been said hello to a lot in the last 38 years, no big deal. Just breathing. What's fatigue level at? Are you getting tired or are you good? I'm good. Cool. I'm just feeling, can you feel this muscle? Yeah. Both sides? Mm -hmm. Can you feel the lower pec? Uh, yeah. Can well, you feel, you push on it. but not so much when I'm not pushing on it? Um, no, I can, I like, I can check in with it. Cool. Yeah. So go here. And then all I want you to do is rotate like that. Perfect. And to keep squeezing. You feel the lower pec a lot now? Yeah. Perfect. Just tuning into that. So all we're doing is we're going through your body, tuning in, seeing who feels more, who feels less, and just spending time feeling. That's legitimately all this entire system is. And I get that this is the first thing you've ever done. And you haven't even like, you don't know anything about this, right? No. First exercise you've ever done. This is as simple as it gets. And this is also as complex as it will ever get is like, I'm gonna teach you how to do this with different muscles, and you'd be amazed at what's gonna happen just feeling your muscles for like two minutes at a time. Because we just never do it. Yeah. Slowly relax. Cool, go ahead and flip over. We're gonna do the exact opposite. And then just do here, and arms at your side, yep. And then all I want you to do is pinch these together. Yep, and then lift your upper body up a little bit. Right there, head straight. Perfect. Can you feel these muscles? Yeah. Yeah, and then gentle, right? So we're not trying to squeeze really hard. I get that that's like the first thing, right? We always are like, oh, let's work really hard. But just try to feel them. Just nice, low intensity. Can you feel these? Um, yeah. Right to left side, how are you feeling? Mm. So I'm still aware of the tightness of my shoulder, um, but on my back, it just feels, it feels pretty balanced. Side to side? Yeah. And then pinch your shoulder blades a little bit. Perfect, can you feel these? Yeah. Side to side, do they feel like they're pulling the same amount? Uh, my right feels like it's pulling more. Okay, left feels like it's pulling less? Yeah. Keep trying to relax more and more. And all I want you to do is try to pull this up a little bit more. Awesome. Do they feel more symmetrical? Yeah. Cool. So we're just making these micro adjustments to gain a little more sensitivity. And then on the second round of these, you'll probably notice it feels different. Shoulders feeling okay? Yeah. Okay. Just breathing. Can you feel these neck muscles working? Um, yeah. Right to left side. Can you tell if there's a difference? Um, my right is definitely tighter. Okay. Rotate your head a little bit to the left. Does that help you feel the left more? Yeah, actually, well, my right just doesn't feel as tight. Okay, rotate to the right. Does that feel different? Yeah, it wasn't, it's, uh, now my right is looser. Hmm, and go back to neutral. What's fatigue level overall? Mm, I'm, I mean, I'm good. Awesome. You feel lower back? Yeah. Right to left, how do they feel? Um, my left side feels a little bit like it's working a little bit harder. Okay, rotate your whole upper body a little bit this way. And how about now? Yeah, so the left loosened up. Yeah, so we just tighten the right a little bit more. We're gonna hold that for a little bit. And then come back to neutral. Do they feel more symmetrical? Um, yeah. Okay, slowly bring this all the way down. Totally relax, yeah and flip back over. And then nice and gentle, let's do our little monk fist thing. And then just push together, just trying to tighten those muscles. And then right to left, I want you to go a little bit deeper this time and try to inspect every inch of these muscles and include your shoulders this time and see, does it feel different from right to left side? And when it does, just I've been doing with all these little adjustments, try to adjust a little bit and try to get the side that doesn't feel as much to start to feel more. You can do that by changing the position a little bit. You can do that by squeezing a little bit harder, or you can do that by like moving from side to side. So like, let's say the left didn't feel as much. You could shift all of this this way. 
you feel how that tightens it a little bit, or you can shift it all the way that way. And if it all feels symmetrical and you feel good, you should still do this. And then you can just play and you can go up and down like I showed you and just try to feel and tune in. And this can take the place of any kind of like stretching routines or foam rolling routines that you do. So for this one, we're gonna be trying to engage just your lower abdominals, right? So as hip flexors as well. But we're gonna to try to imagine, like you're seeing Leonidas from the movie 300. Mm. So we're trying to engage literally every abdominal muscle you have and your obliques with this guy, okay? So nice and gentle, I want you to just push both knees up into my hand here. Just barely, just barely, barely. Yep. Perfect, as light as you can push. I'm gonna move my hand, but keep that there, okay? Can you feel your abdominals? Yeah, they're fine. Can you feel each one by itself, or do you just feel a lump working? It's a lump, right? It's a, it's a lump, but I feel like there's certain points that are more sensitive than others. Yep. So. And this is beautiful. I love that. Because if you felt every one very specifically, I would have no idea what's wrong with you. But you don't, and therefore we have lots of sensitivity potential. And every time you gain new muscles, you'll see it starts to feel really weird when you gain more sensitivity, how much more stable and strong you feel. It's like shaking a little bit, right? It's tough. Put your arms like this, and then very gentle, push into my hand with your upper body raising, just like that. Perfect, gentle, gentle. Does that just get a whole lot tougher? Yeah. Okay, keep pushing here. Beautiful. Can you feel these muscles working? Yeah. Just breathe. So we want to get to the point where this doesn't feel unstable at all. And you would think this is such an easy movement, right? But look, it's like I'm tasering you. <laughs> really slowly bring it down. What was fatigue level? Uh, it was pretty good. Okay, it was getting up there? Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. And just relax and just breathe. And just before we engage again, just start to think, like, what am I trying to feel here? I'm trying to feel the, the abdominals on either side. Trying to feel these obliques, right? Trying to feel those psoas, those hip flexors. So when you engage this time, like the whole goal is just to feel. The whole goal is just sensitivity, okay? Really gentle, push here. Perfect. Really gentle, bring these up, push here. And just trying to engage. And all I want you to do, it's not about an intensity here. It's just how much sensitivity can you get before you die and have to relax. Okay. Cool. Can you feel these? Yeah. Beautiful. Hip flexors, mm -hmm. lower abdominals. Yeah. Um, that's not so sensitive. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So we're really just missing these like center abdominals. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just breathing. Fatigue level. Like out of ten. Yep. Uh, like six. Okay. And just keep trying to relax in this position. How easy can you make this feel? How gentle, how relaxed can you be right now? And slowly relax. Awesome. And let's just stand up, walk around a little bit to see how this feels. What does that feel like? What do you got? Um, the, my, my obliques are more sensitive. You feel those more right yeah. now, yep. yeah. What about upper body? We did a bunch of those movements. Um, and let's just get like, what's the update on that? Uh, there's no clicking. Okay, yeah. so there's no clicking, that's weird. Yeah. Yeah, that's what else? Um, what's the pain level? Um, so there's decreased pain, so it was a four before. Yep. Now it's, I don't know, maybe a two. I don't really feel any pain. Okay, keep, keep going. Yeah, yeah, keep going. Are you feeling the pain right now? No. So it's like a zero right now? Yeah, I mean, there's no pain. And what about left side? Just compare and just see, does that side feel different now? Um, so interestingly, I feel more connected to it. Yep, uh, like it's more no pain, sensitive. But yeah, it's more sensitive. It's yeah, more sensitive. weird, right? Yeah. Do you feel like stronger? Like what um, would you, how would you define that? Like what's that feeling? Like the strength level? Um, or just more agile? Yeah, just it feels like I'm more connected to it. Okay, like, uh, more control. And awareness. Mm. Yeah. Cool, cool. Okay, so super big note. I was about to go do more stuff with him, but I need you guys to know this. Just because it's gone, just because the pain is gone, doesn't mean the injury is gone, right? Like it's still sensitive to the touch, yeah? Yeah. Yep. So it's like, 
when you get uh, like a relief of a symptom, it's really important to remember what we just did to get that relief and to continue to do it far beyond the point of the relief. So we're talking like, you wanna do these priming exercises a lot more over the course of the next few weeks. And then that's why integrating the into exercise is so important like we did with Lori earlier. And now it's like integrating, how do we integrate this into your daily exercise? So when you come to the gym, which you own this gym, <laughs> when you come here and you take the classes, how do you integrate that into your boxing? When you go into any circuit, any exercise ever, can you feel it more rather than increase the intensity? So instead of going for a certain amount of reps per se to like fatigue a muscle, go for can I increase sensitivity at the heaviest weight possible or at the lowest weight or whatever you're doing, right? So what I would say is every time you work out now, be like, oh, can I feel those muscles like I did here no matter what I'm doing? So every punch, can I feel all those chest muscles we worked on? Can I feel all those back muscles? Every time I do a sit up, can I actually feel my abs or am I just doing 20 reps, right? It's a very different thing. And you just said, you're like, wow, I feel my obliques now. When's the last time you like felt your obliques in such a simple exercise? Definitely never in a simple exercise. Usually it's like, you, know, you have to crush, crush it, right? It, yeah. So imagine if you were trying to get that sensitivity while doing a difficult exercise, how different the results might be. Like, I would just encourage you to play with it. Yeah, yeah, cool. <laughs>